I bought it because I wanted to sink my teeth into renovating a property in sort of an up and coming area. So I renovated everything but the kitchen and probably real estate experts would say don't do that, but I knew it was a contained space. Yes, it was in the middle of an open concept main floor plan, but it was contained enough that I could come back to do it. The previous kitchen was a galley kitchen, but it was not full depth on both sides. And it had a very large kitchen island in the middle that gave a lot of storage. I didn't want to have a solid kitchen island anymore. I actually wanted something that you could see past and through to the sunroom because it was sort of blocking that view. So I had to maximize storage out of that small space best that I could. Part of the kitchen renovation was actually opening up the doorway or entryway into the sunroom. It was already open, but it wasn't open enough, and I wanted to bring in the light and let people see more of the prettiness of the sunroom when they were standing in the kitchen. So when I designed the kitchen, I wanted to maximize storage, and I used all the vertical space I could, because it's a Victorian and the ceilings are high. But then there were some other smart solutions used to do that as well. So one of my favorite things to do in the kitchen are two-in-one drawers on either side of the stove. You end up layering up the amount of storage that you get out of any drawer and it keeps you super organized. So it's one of my favorite tricks. And even in this tiny little space, I managed to squeeze in a little five slot wine rack, critical. Really, really was quite happy about that. I managed to solve all my storage needs in the galley kitchen itself. And it allowed me to do a kitchen island that no longer needed to serve that purpose. It was just going to be a pretty piece of furniture that could be placed in the middle of the kitchen that I could perch up to and have a glass of wine with a friend or put groceries down on to unload into the fridge. And it's a really lovely piece, like it's one of my favorite pieces in the room. I just love the wood and it's just another element brought into the kitchen to warm it up. But the style, the overall style of the kitchen was one of my biggest challenges. So. I had to sort of really discipline myself to take a step back and ask myself, what does this house need? And a white kitchen just made sense. At the same time, I didn't want an all white kitchen. I'm a sucker for brass and white. I always have been. I know brass is a trend. We don't know if it's staying or not, but if you love something, I say go for it. So that really, really went far to warm up the kitchen. The white that I chose as well for the kitchen is an off-white. It's a very warm color by Benjamin Moore called Snowfall White. And I also decided to bring in lots of beat up wood accessories. Obviously the kitchen table added that warmth as well. And even the art to bring in color. My house is filled with a lot of very large, bold art pieces. And I'd been coveting this piece by Jonas Tucci for at least two years, and I couldn't be happier. I wake up every morning and quite thrilled to look at our Frida on the wall. She's colorful and fun and, and uh, filled with whimsy. The one thing I'm really quite pleased about in this kitchen is I didn't end up with wall-to-wall -wall cabinets. You know, I really purposely designed spaces where there could be some vertical relief. So I have room for my art and I have room for a bar area in between two very tall vertical cabinets where I put like a beautiful vase and there's a mirror there so it bounces the light around the room. And actually speaking of light, I picked this bone china pendant over the kitchen island table. It's on a pulley system which I just love because when you're trying to get a little bit of atmosphere in the room and you have a glass of wine with a friend, you can pull the light down and it creates a little bit more intimacy around that table. But you know, if you want to pull it out of the way, you can just pull it up and it offers task lighting. There's also like a neat little area that is open and there really to serve the function of having the door swing that goes down into the basement. And I wanted to do something with that area. So I decided to create a little bit of a vignette there with woven baskets that I got from Snob and then put a little stool below because I have to actually climb up to get things sometimes. It's a very vertical kitchen. You know, for the haters of white kitchens, it's all in what you do with it. You know, I mean, there's a reason why art galleries are white. What you put into the kitchen can play a huge role in changing the feeling of the space. I honestly think all those things turn it from being a white kitchen to a, a kitchen with character. I think, though, the favorite thing of all about this kitchen is the fact that my brother made it for me. He is a fantastic mill worker. He is not a kitchen company. He's not even set up to make kitchens. 
but I approached him and after a lot of convincing, he agreed to do it for me. But he built it and I love it. And honestly, I think it's one of the most beautiful kitchens I've ever built.